three episodes in one night. I'm recording the third episode. As I said, I did the same thing as last time. I watched the episode, I edited it, I uploaded it. We're watching the third episode now. I know for you guys, a lot of you guys watching this, you're like, well, yeah, I binged all three episodes as well. There's nothing special about the way you're doing it. But it is. I don't do this on my channel very often. This is like putting up this many videos in a day is uh, is wild. Is that's a, that's, a, that's a lot of videos to put up in a day. Um, so you know, I hope you guys enjoy it, and if you do, support the video. But also, this is great because it means I am not going to be spoiled at all. I haven't seen any like any talks about this um, this act yet. I haven't seen anyone say, oh, it was amazing, or oh, it was terrible, or anything, you know? Um, so far, we're two episodes into this act. We're coming into the final episode, and I, I'm loving it. I think it's great. Um, episode 7 was still so, so incredible. Now, episode 9, I wonder how this all comes together, how it all wraps up. Um, it's a 50-minute episode. Normally, they're around 40 minutes, so they gave us an extra 10 minutes, which is nice. I wouldn't have been mad if it was an hour episode, but, you know, I'm actually, I'm happy. 50 minutes sounds like an appropriate amount of time to wrap this up, to me at least. I guess we'll see. We're going to watch it and find out. Um, doing this intro, I'm also kind of procrastinating clicking that play button because it's going to be a difficult thing to say goodbye to this show. The years that I went between the seasons, it was fine because it was like, oh, there's always more coming. But now there's... There's not going to be any more arcane coming, and that's... Uh, can I live in a post-arcane world? I don't know. I think I can pretty confidently say this is one of my favorite shows of all time now. It has to be. Because it's so special and incredible and fun, and characters are amazing, and the animation's amazing, and it's so, it's such a special show. So, um, yeah. We're going into episode 9. I don't have a crazy amount of predictions. I am not fully ready, but I hope you guys enjoy my reaction to it. Please, if you do, check out some of my other videos, support the channel. Um, if you got any enjoyment from this at all, then, you know, go and go and check out some other stuff to, to help me out, to help out this channel. And maybe you'll find that I'm a, I'm a reactor that you like and that you can watch more videos of. You can go check out my Gent Watchers One Piece channel to watch my entire One Piece journey. There's so much good stuff. But here we go. This is Arcane. Oh, full length reactions are on my, on my Patreon account, by the way. This is Arcane, Season 2, Episode 9. Beginning now. Oh, 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 look at her hair. Spreading out like a fucking beholder. Oh, oh. the way she like stood up from her hair and it stayed on the ground. I really like this song. Oh, burning the chair. Burning the last drop. Mm. Uh, uh, jinx! Echo needs to show up and go back in time four seconds. <gasps> yes! That's what I just said! Yep, rewind. Oh my gosh! Oh. oh! This is so cool. You're too late, Echo. Wait! Oh my god, she keeps trying. I think I'm just gonna sit here a minute. I'll catch my breath. <laughs> oh my gosh. No matter what happened in the past, it's never too late to build something new. This is such a cool scene. What a great idea for a scene. Oh, man. That's so good. I was wondering, what can Echo do with going back in time four seconds? And if he can save Jinx. Oh. I'll never be a saint no way. Victor's at the center of all this, isn't he? In a way. If it is really Victor. If you can call him Victor anymore. Oh. 
Whoa. Had like a slash across the... It's like I was crossing out her identity. Oh my gosh. Are we in it? Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my gosh, we're seeing a legit war now. Damn, mine looks good right now. Oh. Oh, fuck. Oh, <laughs> I mean, she's a fucking badass. Look at this shit. She's so cool. Oh, Kate. Oh, Kate. Ooh, and she absorbs it with a thing on her arm. Makes sense. Can it can always continuously absorb, or does it have a limit? Maddie, look out! Shit! I sound. Uh oh. Oh my god. Oh. Don't love that. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Come on, Vi. Oh, oh, no. I only wrote his name down last episode. Loris. Shit. Yeah, if Maddie dies, if Maddie dies, I'm... If Maddie dies, I promise you I'm never watching a new episode of Arcane again after this. Oh! <laughs> oh! Yeah. I'm pissed about it too, Vi. Oh! Okay. Hell yeah. Oh! Oh shit, oh shit, that's awesome. Oh. Yes, go my man, I love that guy, the fish guy. He's so cool, I love him. Oh my god. Surely this doesn't just work, does it? It's not detonating. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, where is she? Where is she? Oh no. This is a bad sign. Oh, <laughs> she's so fucking cool! Yeah, I thought that's what I saw. Maddie! Oh no. Maddie's allegiance is to Ambessa. No. <laughs> Instinctively, I forgive her. I warned you, <laughs> cousin, so oh! I still don't want Maddie to die. I don't care what she did. Oh. Let's get this over. Oh, fuck. I did appreciate your warmth. <laughs> uh, oh! Maddie killed herself. Oh my god. She's dead. But she did try to kill my other favorite characters, so. And Mel can make barriers that far? If you care for me at all, spare their lives. There is nothing to gain from this senseless bloodshed. <sighs> What's this? Is it Jinx somehow? Seems like something Jinx would do, yeah. 
Oh my god! Jinx is gonna save the day against Ambessa. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, this is awesome! Safika! Yes! Yes, kill them! <laughs> oh, this is so great. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, Mel, protect the fish man. Oh, wow. Tom Holland got to the controls. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, my God. Oh. This episode is so badass. Okay, it broke it open. What is it? Is it a fake? Was the whole plan to drag a fake out there? Shit, man! And Vess is too smart. Oh my gosh, is this Victor? Holy shit, look at him! Wait, the laser. I think the laser he has in the game. I am. Please. Look at him. Oh. Oh! That's scary. <laughs> no! I imagine you have to defeat Victor to stop all of this. There's no way you actually defeat all these soldiers. Oh no! Is it turning them? It, does that mean we're gonna lose them if Victor dies? You are no Madada. You remember Oh hell yeah! Hell yeah! <laughs> Caitlin! You're doing a weapons battle with Ambessa? Oh, but supported by Mel. Yup. The Mel support's gonna be huge. Oh, that's awesome. Ugh! They're so, like, spider-like. Oh! Yeah, it's kind of Vanda. Oh, shit! Yeah, jump on! Jump aboard, I can only take you up there. You can save your sister. Yes! Awesome. Yes! Oh, that was sick. Man, the way she can just absorb the magical energy. Oh. Oh, yes, Caitlyn! Oh. Oh. She's so injured. Oh my god. Oh! For the benefit of all. Jesus, Victor. To choose their own fates. The baser instincts that spur us to division. Mm. But then what's Energy left? He created a perfect world with no personality. Oh my god, he just puts him back in. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, oh. Don't you dare. You took Maddie away from me. Don't take Caitlyn. Oh my god. Oh. You fought well, child. She Oh, nice. He took off her magical protection. Blast her with everything you got, Mel. A wolf has no mercy. <laughs> oh my god! You're using that? Your daughter is wiser than you credit. I salute you, Ambassador. This is like a domain expansion. Without the gift. Oh my god, this is a horrifying way to win. 
Oh, is she making sure it's not horrifying? What sister? Look at her! <laughs> Just gonna calmly overpower your power. Oh! Holy shit! Mel is fucking gorgeous in these episodes. I mean, she's always beautiful, but... Oh. So she had some mercy. <laughs> oh my god. Final moment of being proud of her daughter. When she kills you. God. I didn't want Ambassador to die though. I mean, I did, but I didn't. She's so cool. But that's a fitting way for her to go out. Oh my god. Jinx is alive. That's good. Is Echo alive? Still don't get it, huh, sis? <laughs> I'm always with you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is scary. Oh, yeah, you gotta go. I can't believe it's like Vi and Powder facing Vanda in the final battle. Oh, my God. Damn, nothing. Whew. Oh, the sound. Oh. Wow, the sound is so interesting. Oh, that's sick. That's really cool. Oh shit! These battles are coming together! Oh! Jesus! Basically giving him a haircut! Well, we're fucked now! Everything's fucked! Oh my god! No! <laughs> what the fuck? I mean... Well... What now? <laughs> Whoa, she dodged it? You can do that? Okay, only for a bit. Oh, Echo. Is going back in time gonna help? <laughs> Could you go back four seconds and stop this somehow? Now it's been more than four seconds now. Victor, don't! Oh my god! He's spirit bending him. Or energy bending, or whatever you call it in Avatar. Oh my god. I admired about you. Is he going to be able to break through to Victor? Oh, maybe we won't need that. Because Echo is here! What the fuck? Oh my god. Oh my god, he is the protagonist. <laughs> oh, maybe he's not. Rewind. Rewind. Grab your thing. Yes! <laughs> That's so cool! Every time he gets caught, oh no. Oh god. Pull it, pull it. Oh no, he's still stuck in here. He's been in here too long. Oh fuck. I thought he was the protagonist for a second. Maybe he still is. Yeah, overload it. It doesn't matter. What's it gonna do? Blow up someone near you? Like it blew up Heimerdinger? One, two, three. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, I hope he's not sacrificing himself. Oh. 
Oh, what? Okay, so it's unstable now, right? Oh! That device can't be. <laughs> oh my god! Yes! Is my partner back? <laughs> Can you get your Why partner back? Because I promised you. <laughs> Oh. Why did you ever give me this? Yes. They are revealing it. It's Victor. Oh. I thought I could bring an end to the world. Suffering. I. Okay. But when for fields of dreamless solitude. Mm hmm. There's there nothing no left. Only an end to pursuit. <laughs> Good line. Time line. <laughs> only you. <laughs> can show me this. Oh! <laughs> Holy shit! You must go, Jess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these two! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, look at this art! <laughs> Jesus, man. Oh. <laughs> oh, it pulled them both in. And they're gone. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh! Oh, Jesus Christ. Open hard falls. Sabika, watch for falling people. Ow! Oh shit! What is she doing? <laughs> oh, she just needs to grieve for a second. <laughs> oh my g what? No. Okay. Oh, oh. No, 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 no. Oh my god, don't don't kill Jinx. We've had so many victories and losses. Oh my god. Oh my god, no! <laughs> no! Is she gonna hug Vanda? <laughs> oh no, she still has that grenade! It was a Chekhov's gun! <sighs> Shit! The hammer fell apart. I we were so close to a happy ending for those two. We were so close. Mm. Whoa, that's really cool. The exaltation of every That's so cool. We'll carry them forever. Oh, Savika's on the council? What a representative, to be honest. Her only consolation that yes. Not worth fighting for. Is that his daughter? That was his daughter. Ugh. Oh. Don't love that. Yeah. And that's you now. Our story isn't over. Well, you say that. <laughs> And she's got an eye patch now because of that eye stabbing. It suits her. Is she inputting this into the Kiriman database? Oh my god. Is it showing that they're a fucking married couple now, please? Is that singing? It's humming. <laughs> Are you still in this fight, Violet? 
You can still see that scratch on her. I... Nothing's gonna clean me out. <laughs> Oh, sick. Mm. Is that it? That's that's fully it. That's fully it. Yeah. I'm not ready for that to be over, but it is. <laughs> Whether I'm ready or not, it's done. Oh my gosh. Um. Yeah. I I loved it. I think that was that was a an incredible ending to this this series um i'm a little shell shocked honestly because it was it was a, there was a lot i mean it was undeniably climactic and honestly like they made 50 minutes feel like two hours i would say in a good way like not in that it dragged on but in that it like had a lot in it and I'm I'm shocked that was only 50 minutes of my life because I felt like I went on a huge journey in that time. Um, but yeah, I mean I I mean I'm a little nervous that this video is not going to be very good because I don't know how much I was even reacting. I think I was like sometimes shows make it really easy for me to react, and then there's sometimes. Like, like, I feel like episode seven was easy for me to react to because it's like, I'm getting to point out things. I'm getting to the cry at the emotional moments. I'm getting to laugh at the jokes. I'm like, there's just, there's a lot of like things there, you know, but this episode, I feel so like the, the emotions that it makes me go through in such a short amount of time, it just, it freezes me and yeah, and so, like, I I didn't cry in this episode, but not because it's not an emotional thing, but because the emotions are, like, almost overwhelming. Um, and also, I mean, I've said on this channel before, there are, like, specific triggers to make me cry. And generally, like, sadness doesn't necessarily do it. So I'm not going to cry that Jinx died. I'm just going to... It's just going to hurt my heart so heavily, and it's going to stick with me. Um... So, I guess this kind of answers a question of mine <laughs> that I thought of, like, that I think I said earlier in the season. Not not for you guys to answer it, obviously, but a rhetorical question that I was saying out loud. But I was wondering if Arcane, if the lore was going to be like, okay, by the end of Arcane, these characters will be at the point they are in League of Legends. As I said, I'm not a League player. I don't know a great amount about where they are, but I know a little bit. I know a tiny bit. And I guess the answer is no, because some of them died. <laughs> like that's that's my question. I was wondering if you if a character being a League of Legends character, if they were like a playable character in the game, does that mean they can't die in this series? And, and we have that answered. Because I, I get Jinx, well, Jinx is dead. I am mostly, especially since this show is over. If there was another season, I'm, I might go like, well, Jinx might have survived that because she survived explosions and stuff before and stuff. But since this is the last episode of the series, I believe Jinx is dead. <laughs> so Jinx is dead. Vand is dead, but he was already dead. Um... Maddie's dead, but she's not, as far as I know, a League of Legends character. And Bess is dead. I'm pretty sure she's in League of Legends now. I don't think she was when Arcane Season 1 came out, but I think she was added. Because um, I think I remember seeing like a trailer pop up for her. I didn't really watch it, but I, I saw it pop up. Victor's dead. Jace is dead. If what happened to them can be considered dying. And Victor and Jace, I believe, are both League of Legends characters. So... Like, I like, I'm really glad about that because I honestly thought that it was possible that like, you know, that the viewers know the end result of this series. But really, I don't think it was possible for us to know the end result of this series. Um, oh, it's a lot, man. Um, I guess we'll talk about Maddie first. Because... <laughs> 
I mean, look, as the biggest Maddie defender out there, um, like I loved her so very much, so so much. Um, and so, and I mean that the show creators are manipulating me by doing that because you love her so much, so that it hurts so much more when she's when she turns out to be the uh, the, the a traitor essentially, and she tried to kill Va uh, k kill Caitlyn. But I, I don't know. I can't hate her. <laughs> like one, she's so cute. Two, I loved her like saying that line of like, I, I, I l liked the warmth or something. Like she basically was saying like, I did actually care about you. And like the, what we, the like time that we shared that night wasn't for nothing. Um, but it was still like Mbess's manipulation. But, you know, I, I don't know, I, this is just me being a big Maddie defender, I know, but it's like, working under Ambessa, I can see how you might think that's like a necessary thing, you know, and I, I can see how she would convince you. She's a convincing fucking woman, like her, her speeches are so powerful that if I was in a room alone with, um, with Ambessa, and she was trying to convince me of something. I don't care if it's the thing I, you know, I agree with the most in the world. She's probably gonna get me, like, drill me down <laughs> within like 15 minutes because she's just such a powerful presence. And um, and so yeah, I can, I can sort of see. It is sad though. Like Maddie's introduction is sort of like saying to Vi, like. It's good that there are, like, good enforcers out there, you know? Like, that inspires me to see that there are good enforcers out there. And then her final moments are, like, her trying to shoot one of the, like, best enforcers out there in the back of the head, you know? Like, Caitlyn is, like, gold standard enforcer. And, um, and Maddie tried to kill her. So, yeah. Hey, look, I, I, I guess I'll eat crow. Like, I... I was defending her pretty heavily, and then uh, I got betrayed, but I love her. <laughs> you can't help what you love. <laughs> I still love her very much. I don't think this drops her off my favorite character list. Like, I mean, I, I, already, I think I already dropped her off last video for Silco out of my top three, but she's still in the top five, I think. I love her. Um, wow. That scene at the start of Echo saving Jinx, where it's like Jinx tries to kill herself or does kill herself and Echo rewinds it to save her and then has to keep doing that over and over until he can convince her. <coughs> but he can only do it four seconds at a time. So if there's ever like a four second gap where, where she's completely beyond help, then it's then like he's doomed and there's nothing he can do. But I really love that as sort of like, even just like the, a symbol for like, you know, we always feel like someone's beyond help, but like, and you know, even in season one, Caitlyn points a gun at Jinx and says, Vi, she's too far gone. She's too far gone. As in like, there's nothing we can do for her anymore. But what that scene at the start kind of shows is she's not too far gone. If she was too far gone, his he could rewind as much as he wants and never do anything, you know? But it he can ch start to change her four seconds at a time. I think that's, like, fucking beautiful. I think that's amazing. Because I'm someone who really believes in that people can change and that, you know, people can, like, adjust their behavior over time. And I know that's a simple concept. It's like, well, of course people can change. But I truly believe in, like, rehabilitation and that, like, we n we need to not just give up on people. Doesn't mean, you know, that prisons can't exist. It doesn't mean you can't, um, you know, make someone, like, punish someone for crimes that they commit or anything. But it can't just be this person committed this crime this or this person did this bad thing. Therefore that put them in the bad pile, you know? Uh, I, I don't, I don't believe that. I just, I don't. 
it doesn't mean you have to forgive them, but it's like it's way more complex complex than that. Humanity is a complicated fucking thing. And that's another theme of this episode. The world is complicated. And that's the thing, like Victor, his whole thing is he's trying to solve the world's problems. He has kind of a way to solve all the problems. And that's just everyone becomes one and there are no more problems. But fuck, what is there, <laughs> you know? Yeah, it solves everything. There are no more problems, but there's, n there's nothing. There's absolutely nothing. He had some good lines in that scene as well, and I can't remember what they are off the top of my head, but it was something about, you know, like, you get rid of the, um, you know, you remove the issues, but you get perfection, and you, <laughs> and you uh, don't have the pursuit anymore, or whatever. And it's like, but it was, I think he put it a little more eloquently than that, but essentially, the idea of, like, the pursuit of perfection is what drives us and what makes us so special but actual perfection is nothing it's 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 boring it's horrible um so yeah i mean it's just it's just like when you you know you play a game and you get like the perfect you know the perfect run of a game or you beat the game with 100 percent or whatever it loses its magic you just you're like well done with that like you might get the satisfaction of i did it like that's what Vic victor was getting in this he's like getting the satisfaction of like i've saved everyone i've done what i needed to do and then after a while you start to go shit well now what and there's there's no now what you know except what victor had to do was he had to go okay i need jace to be able to undo this because uh, what i did was fucked <laughs> Um, so, yeah, that was awesome. The Ambessa fight between Caitlyn and Mel and Ambessa, holy shit, what a fight. That was so cool. We got to see them, it, it's great that you get to see, like, a brawler, like, Ambessa, who's just, like, technique, but also fucking power. Then you get to see Caitlyn, who I, I feel like is pure technique, you know, she's like, she's like, in, has, is, has impeccable training, essentially, but she doesn't have like the body mass that Ambessa does. And then you have um, Mel, who's like pure arcane, you know, so you've got these three forces all like going up against one another, and it's really, really interesting to see the way that interacts. Um, and I, I love it. It was so cool. Um, it does make me think, and I don't know, like, as I said, this doesn't need to end, like, the end of Arcane doesn't need to line up with League of Legends, but does Caitlyn and League of Legends have an eye patch? I, I can look it up now, because the show's over. I am just I just searched Caitlyn, League of Legends. She doesn't. She doesn't. She doesn't have an eye patch. Okay, cool. Because I thought, if she had an eye patch and I had never, like seen that because I'd, I'd seen her design in the games before and stuff i i thought like if i had never noticed that she has an eye patch that's crazy but she doesn't <laughs> um so good i'm glad that i didn't um that you know i didn't just completely miss something um yeah so that's good <laughs> that was a really cool fight um and then the, going back to echo i had said like echo felt like a protagonist like in in episode 7 I was like man he's a good protagonist and he is like I like it because they kind of gave all of them a really great protagonist moment like Vi, I would say Vi Echo and Jace all had like and Caitlyn I guess but they all had like impeccable protagonist moments where they individually like felt like they did the saving and um and yeah like echoes of him just like going weaving through all those people and then like whenever he fucked up he would rewind and do it again it's i love scenes like that it's so much fun and it was just it was great to watch him do that um uh you can hear me kind of losing my voice because i've done so many of these videos back to back now <laughs> um but yeah that was a, such a sick scene truly 
Um, and I love, so if I understood it correctly, right, he knows that if you rewind longer than four seconds, the device becomes unstable, right? And it's like, it fucks up. So it's like, because in episode seven, when he went to over four seconds, it exploded, essentially. And so he saw Heimerdinger exploding because it became unstable and it fucked everything up. Um, so what he did was he went back and that not only got him out of the clutches of the guys, but he also turned the actual chrono accelerator, that's what it's called in, in Overwatch, into a bomb and threw it at um, at them. That's fucking sick. I, I think that's awesome. <laughs> that's such a cool solution to that problem because it gets him out of the grasp of the enemies and creates a bomb and it makes a lot of sense. Really, really cool. Um, so, I mean, the thing about this... Oh, and Savika being on the council. I didn't write this down, but Savika being on the council, perfect. I mean, I knew they needed, like, an under... Like, like a Zorn representative, essentially. Um, and... But Savika being that, it, it makes a lot of sense. Because she's not going to take any bullshit. She's a very intelligent woman. Um, and she was, like, she knows what Silco wanted. She knows what, what Jinx would have wanted. She knows what Vanda would have wanted. Like, these are people that she knew very well. And she's going to, like, uphold their beliefs. So, that's fucking just brilliant. And what a great, like, what a great way to wrap up that character, you know? Like, she becomes a politician in a way. Um, but to help her people. It's great. So, yeah, I mean, I guess the main thing about this is, like, this was a, I mean, it's a bittersweet ending. And I mean, I've said before on this channel, like, I always hope for happy endings, but I think my favorite endings of all time are like bittersweet endings, you know? Damien Chazelle is good at them with Whiplash and La La Land, both like very bittersweet endings that are some of my favorite endings of all time. Um, and I mean, there's, you know, Breaking Bad, I would say is pretty bittersweet. And there's a lot of, a lot of great stuff that has that. Um, and I think if written perfectly, the bittersweet ending can feel the best and like the most earned. But uh, if you can't write absolutely perfectly, the happy ending is the safest thing for me, I think. Um, and then if, I mean, if it's going to be a very, very depressing ending, it better be fucking good and even if it is fucking good i don't think it's gonna hit me as hard but i just i don't think sad endings tend to hit me as hard because it feels like it doesn't feel like a waste of a journey but it feels like i was watching it the whole time and i was like oh i can't wait to see how they solve this problem and then they don't solve it <laughs> you know or they do solve it but like at so much loss that it doesn't matter anymore and then it's like what what was I watching for then, you know? Like, it still was an amazing journey, and I don't think endings ruin... Like, even a bad ending, I don't think necessarily ruins a piece of media. Um, but it does make that me go look at that ending and go, hmm, I don't like that ending. <laughs> so, um... So, this ending was great. Perfect, really. And I... Um... And yeah, I do think, like... While I was watching it, I was like, I'm glad that it seems like it's not going in a... Towards, like, a nihilistic ending. Like, it it truly was, you know, about, like, a redemption of Jinx and, like, what could redeem her, you know? Like, it was actually going for that. And it was going for um, Jason, Victor truly caring about each other and their care for one another is what saves the world, essentially. It's, it's what's about to destroy the world, but it's also what saves the world. Um, or what, actually, what is about to destroy the world is their individual goals, but then what saves them is their care for one another, you know? Um, and there's just, there's so much fucking beautiful, beautiful stuff going on. Um, but yeah, that's arcane. You can hear my voice is, is dying. Um, I, yeah, I spent so much of tonight just watching this. And I don't regret it. That was amazing. I am going to regret it soon, though, once it hits me that this show, I'm never going to see any more new episodes of this show. And I wouldn't anyway, because they killed Maddie. And I promised that I wouldn't. <laughs> I say that, but if they announce tomorrow, arcane season three coming out. Uh, I'd be on that train again in a heartbeat. <laughs> like, I absolutely. 
I can't wait for what what more there is in the League of Legends TV universe because this world is amazing really really amazing I say that as someone I don't even really like League very much I mean I didn't I didn't mind it when I played it I didn't mind the gameplay it's the same thing that everyone says when they play League like it's kind of just like a horrible community and it's so far into the game that the community expects people to know and understand things that you don't know and understand and the learning curve is a bit too annoying to get used to um but uh but i don't i'm not the sort of person i don't want to shit talk league either i don't think that's fun to do and i think league actually is a very cool game and the fact that it's so i mean this is this show truly feels like revolutionary to me so and that it could only exist because of league so i mean great job riot and great job uh i forgot how to pronounce the company but it starts with an f um that makes arcane incredible job it's absolutely amazing all of the voice actors every animator every person who put their blood sweat and tears into this show it's truly amazing and thank you all for joining me on on my journey through season two my only regret is that i didn't i wasn't doing a youtube channel when season one came out because i would have loved to have my reactions to arcane season one on on video as well but what are you gonna do um yeah that's season two episode nine thank you for joining me <laughs> make sure to support the video liking commenting and subscribing go to my patreon account for full length early access and exclusive videos and go to my one piece channel gent watches one piece for one piece content i'll see you next time goodbye